Graphic content warning guys, we will be looking at a lime kill, but what is left behind the next day is insane. So if you can't handle some gore, look away now. Here we see the entrails, the soft bits, the stomachs and intestines which have been removed from the prey item, which was a large male kudu. We can see the older female and male here making swift work of the carcass with their powerful jaws and sharp teeth. I've spared you all the sound of sinew and muscle being stripped away from the kudu's bones, so you can thank me down in those comments. Once they've had their fill, as these two boys have, they're gonna take the catnap of their lives. And you can see just how engorged their stomachs are, absolutely stuffed with kudu, panting hard in the heat of the day, but undoubtedly a good nap awaits. The younger members of the pride are able to have a go at what remains once the elders have had their share. And we can see here this young male has to work a little bit harder than the others to find bits of meat. This view of the carcass gives us a nice idea as to why those entrails we saw in the beginning are removed. It really opens things up and allows the lions for much easier access to the bits of meat they're actually interested in. I'm always amazed at how delicately they're able to remove the entrails though. The lions want to ensure they don't tear anything as the smells would then attract competition such as other prides of lions or potentially hyenas and vultures which would alert everyone else to the presence of an easy meal. I left the pride and decided to return the following day to see what remained and I was absolutely shocked. This was it. Just the skull. 350 kilograms of kudu disappeared like some carb magic trick you'd see in Las Vegas. But that's it guys, let me know if you enjoyed this brutal yet essential glimpse into nature in those comments. But until next time, stay wild and wonderful.